Guys, it is an exciting day today because I get to test a new product. This is a 200 watt solar panel made by Mango Power. Now, if you've been following along with this channel, you'd know that I picked up a power bank last winter, really just for emergencies, but I've only got about one to three days worth of power usage on it. So if the power's out for longer than that, I'm a bit out of luck. And that is where the solar panel comes in. Now it's currently a cloudy day, so we should be able to test the wattage when it's cloudy and then when it's sunny, see what kind of power it's producing and see how long it takes to charge up the old Blue Eddy. So let's get it set up. All right, well, first impressions, the quality on it looks really nice. It's got kind of an interesting texture. It's kind of like uh, Kevlar or carbon fiber. It actually reminds me a lot of my old bulletproof vest that I had in the service. Now it is cloudy at the moment, so let's see how much power we are generating. So right now, it is putting out 49 watts, and you see I'm a little over 60% charged. So let's see what happens when uh, the sun decides to poke out. All right guys, we got a nice little peak in the clouds where we're getting more sunlight. We are at 155 watts power input. 147, oh wow, you can watch 123. You can see the clouds right as that sun sneaking behind the clouds. You can watch it drop in like real time. 109, 86. Wow, that's crazy. Huge difference when you've got some clouds versus no clouds. But what's really cool, look, even with the clouds, we're at 50 watts right now. The biggest thing that I've got this for is my heated blanket, which consumes around 60 watts when it's on, but it cycles on and off throughout the night. Even with full cloud coverage, you see it's basically completely behind that cloud, we're still getting a decent amount, 35 watts. So throughout the day, this seems like this would still be enough, even in the middle of winter, even on a cloudy day, to then allow you to use the heated blanket all night. Super important. All right, guys, yesterday's test went well. We went from about 60% to 100% on a cloudy day, but today it is very sunny, and I spent all last night completely draining the battery on the Blue Eddy so that we can see how long it takes to go from completely dead to fully charged on a nice sunny day. Now, I will need to probably move these solar panels throughout the day as the sun tracks through the sky, but let's see how long it takes. All right, with our morning sun, we're looking at 82 watts is where it's settling in. Let's see how that changes as the day progresses. All right, guys, well, good news. This thing was fully charged up before 1 p.m. You can see it's no longer accepting any charge. That is just awesome. Now, we did have a fully sunny day, so it's good to see where we're at when it's sunny as well as when it's cloudy. Let's go inside and take a look at some of the numbers to see what this could power in the event of a power outage. All right, guys, time to get a little bit nerdy on the numbers here. The battery power bank. This is an EB55 made by Blue Eddy. It stores 537 watt hours of power. If you want to know how that translates to powering normal household appliances like a refrigerator, a freezer, or an electric blanket, I did a standalone video review on this. You can find a link to that right here. Now, the solar panels. These are rated at 200 watts. The most I was able to get out of it was 189, which is well within its normal range because I couldn't really face it directly at the sun. And then I did some calculations very unscientifically when we were in the clouds versus not in the clouds. And then I looked at the normal hours of daylight we have out here in Spokane for the summer versus the winter to kind of get an idea for how much power generation you can really expect. The numbers I came up with in the winter, you can expect around 700 watt hours. In the summer, we're looking at 1500. So either way, more than enough to fully charge the Blue Eddy. And if you did see that review video, you would know that this was more than enough capable of keeping an electric blanket going throughout the night as well as our refrigerator and our freezer and still only ending up about 40 percent discharged so in the winter months you could keep this fully charged and still have around 20 to 40 watts throughout the day in the summer way more than that we're looking at 120 to 140 watts continuous throughout the day while still keeping this charged now because this is a portable solar panel i wanted to give you guys the dimensions on it it is just a little bit over 21 inches tall and then just under 24 inches wide it does fold out to about 92 inches and it is around an inch and a half thick so if you guys are wondering if I would recommend purchasing this solar panel, I absolutely would. The quality on it seems top-notch. The power production and the price
pricing both seem perfectly reasonable and along with my Blue Eddy power station I feel totally prepared for any unexpected power outages. If you have any questions on this write those in the comments section below and I will try to stay on top of that. In the description I will put a link to where you can purchase this along with the video for the Blue Eddy if you're interested in checking that out. Otherwise take care see you guys later. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye bye.